Welcome to the English translation of page number 4 of Shri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Page number 4 begins with enlisting a few ways people are trying to please the God with. Some people are doing meditation, some people are singing, some people are um, worshipping the God. The first sentences are like countless people are meditating. countless people are showing love towards god countless people are worshiping and countless people are within austere disciplines countless scriptures has been written in praise of god and countless people are reciting the rituals and reciting the verses from vedas countless people have become yogis who go into forests completely cut out from the world and their minds remain detached from this world countless devotees contemplate the wisdom and virtues of lord countless are holy and countless are givers people give to poor to the needy they do charity basically to please the god countless heroic spiritual warriors are fighting the wars in the name of god they bear the brunt of the attack in battle countless sags have gone silent and they are constantly in vibration of the strings of his love all of these ways of pleasing the god or connecting with the god people are adopting however the guru is saying that the creative potency of the god or this nature could not be described in words even someone sacrifices his or her life even that's not sufficient to describe the creative potency and uh, the strength of lord the guru is saying to the god that whatever pleases you that is the good only that is good in in your eyes you are always eternal and formless in the next sentences the guru is talking about the negative side of people like in the previous ones he talked about the positive people the positive deeds people are doing to please the god and in these next sentences the guru is talking about all the negative people or the negative activities happening in this world he says that there are countless fools who are blinded by ignorance there are countless number of thieves and embezzlers countless people impose their will on people by force especially if we talk about the times the guru lived in 1400s it was the time of emperors and slaves and imposing someone's will by force was a common to common happening whereas now most people or most countries have gone to democratic ways of imposing the laws on people the laws are still imposed but human rights are considered as well next the guru says that countless people cut throats and they are ruthless killers countless sinners are there who keep sinning there are countless liars who are wandering lost in their lies there are countless wretches eating filth as their ration and there are countless slanderers who are carrying the weight of their stupid mistakes on their heads nanak is such a lowly person that he cannot describe the state of that supreme god even if he sacrifices his life for the sake of god that would not be sufficient whatever pleases the god he does that and he is i mean the god is eternal and formless there are countless names there are countless places inaccessible approachable countless celestial realms even to call them countless is to carry the weight on your head from the word comes the naam means the name and from the word comes your praise from the word comes spiritual wisdom with which people sing your glory from the word comes the written and spoken hymns from the word comes destiny written on one's forehead but the one who wrote these words of destiny on people's forehead or species foreheads 
no words are written on his forehead means no words no destiny is written for the supreme god as he ordains so do we receive the created universe is the manifestation of his name without his name there is no place at all how can we describe the creative power of this nature the creative power of the universe when the hands feet and the body are dirty we can easily wash that dirt with water however and when the clothes are soiled and stained by urine or any other thing we can wash them clean with soap however when the intellect is stained our minds are polluted by sin it can only be cleansed by the love of god's name from name it means the praise of god virtue and vice do not come by mere words these are the actual deeds actions repeated over and over again are engraved on the soul you shall harvest what you plant o nanak by god's command we come and go in reincarnation people go on pilgrimages they stay in austere discipline they show compassion towards other people and they do charity but these all of these acts bring only an iota of merit whereas listening to the god's praise and believing with love and humility believing in god with love and humility in your mind that cleanses our inner soul that makes our soul sacred and that's that is like having a cleansing bath in a place of pilgrimage a cleansing bath in a pool at a place of pilgrimage o lord all virtues are yours or all qualities are yours and i have none at all without virtue there is no devotional worship i bow to the lord of the world to his word to brahma the creator he is beautiful true and eternally joyful in the next sentences the guru ponders about what was the time the moment the day the month the season when the universe was created and in the next sentences the guru answers this question saying that the pandits the religious scholars cannot find that time even if it is written in the puranas the puranas are hindu's sacred text or one of their sacred texts and what time that was is even not known to the qazis who study the quran neither the yogis know that date and time the creator who created this creation who created this universe he only knows what time or date it was or precisely we can say what moment it was because the time and date these things are created relatively late as in if we look at the dates it is the 31st of december 2019 and so it has been 2019 years only since the date has started but the universe has been here for millions of years so all we can say is what was that moment is only known to the creator itself and no one else has precisely found what that moment was this is the end of page number 4 translation of shri guru granth sahib ji I hope you would have liked this video and if you did do share this with your friends and family and do leave your valuable comments suggestions in the comment section I would love to hear from you and I will see you in the next one thanks a lot bye